Hey guys, what's up? It is Dave from Nankin, and I'm excited today. We are going to be battling some combat robots. So this is a one pound ant weight bot using the FingerTech products that we sell here at the at Nankin. It has FingerTech ESCs, FingerTech motors, um, weapon system, a whole nine yards, custom built chassis that I made, um, and it's using a DX6. E radio. This is a wooden kit, <laughs> uh, normally intended for kids. Um, great for kids. Uh, they price it was right about 40, 50 bucks. Um, they're great to battle on each other with the wooden kits. You normally wouldn't see something like this fighting something like this, but we want to see some destruction. This is the sawfish kit. There's eight or nine kits out there, all different ones. <clears throat> um, they're a ton of fun, definitely worth it. They come with everything, just a ton of fun. So without further ado, let's get into the destruction. Okay. Let me back up. I lost my weapon, <laughs> but I'm still mobile. You're gonna get counted out. I know you're still mobile. My weapon still works. Oh, <laughs> Can we drive or just spin? Oh man. Okay. Huh. Oh no. Done. I think you're done. I think you're done. Whew. All right, so damage report on what just happened. Um, so we'll kind of break it down from the beginning here. Um, actually in the process of putting in my battery, uh, I got a little cut, but you can't, can kind of see that. So these weapons are not only extremely powerful, but the weapon systems come with this little clamp that at an actual event, you would have the clamp in it secured in a way that stops this blade from spinning. I should have did that for this. Um, figured it'd just be for fun, whatever. The wife bumped the throttle and I got a little cut. It was, uh, it was a bit fun. But anyway, uh, moving on to this guy. So this is the wooden kit um, from FingerTech. Uh, I believe a, a, a secondary company actually makes it, um, but we've, it's purchased through FingerTech. And realistically, yes, it is in pieces. It is all torn apart. But as you saw from the video, the electronics and everything still work. The wiring is all still intact. And aside from this uh, chips on the wood, um, every little piece is all still here and we'll actually be able to reassemble this thing and it'll be able to fight on again. The only thing that we actually lost was there was a small little marble that goes down here, the little holder that basically holds it in, holds the marble in place and that allows this to roll around on that. We lost the little holder. That's 
that's really all that happened. On this thing, the weapon motor actually broke the shaft. Um, don't mind the long set screw. Um, it was just kind of in there for this. Uh, and that might have been the downfall, but um, yeah, this was really the first time fighting with this thing. First time really testing it. Um, it was still a ton of fun. These electronics and all the stuff to make this bot are pretty cheap. Um, the most expensive thing is normally the controller, but I mean, there's other controllers you can get out there. Um, plenty of stuff you can do with them. They're a ton of fun. Um, the arena that we fight in is four foot by four foot. And we plan on having some little fights here at the store uh, in the future using that arena, uh, both with the little wooden bots and anybody that brings a one pound ant weight bot. Um, we will have safety precautions in that case. So something like this doesn't happen. Um, and yeah, it should be a ton of fun. That was, that was a ton of fun. There was just the right amount of destruction. I'm going to put this thing back together, get a new motor for this, and we're going to continue on. So have fun. As always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.